seeing a lot of leaves fall, but it might be interesting after today's storm yeah. if there's a lot of wind. We That's might. a really good point. Actually, big storms like what we could see later on this afternoon can very much take a lot of those leaves down and impact those fall colors that I know many of you are looking forward to seeing. So hopefully, one, that we don't have too much severe weather, and then two, that those leaves stay in the tree so we can still enjoy the rest of the season. This is a view out in Lawrence right now where things are dry and quiet. Live Guardian radar, we aren't seeing any activity just yet, but this will be a very different story as we head later on into the afternoon and evening. As Angela just mentioned, we're going to be tracking a storm system that's moving our way, and it could bring us some severe storms as well. It's that same system we were just talking about that brought those storm reports to portions of Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma. We'll look at that here in just one moment. We have a lot of clouds being thrown our way out ahead of that system, but at this time, things are comfortable and quiet. We're in those upper 60s, lower 70s. 71 is where we're sitting in Muncie, 67 in Indianapolis, and 68 in Shelbyville. It'll be later on this afternoon that we start to see things picking up, so you still have a good bit of dry time before that storm activity gets here. We'll see temperatures quite comfortable by noon, but a little on the humid side right around 74 degrees will still be dry by this time and then rising into those lower 80s just before the rain gets here. So that system is sitting off to our south and west. So impacting portions of southeastern Kansas, southwestern Missouri at this time. We did just have a couple of tornado warnings in southwestern Missouri. Those at this time actually are still active. You can see just the one right now that's active, I'd say for another about 15 minutes. But here we're quiet. It's that system that's heading our way. And we do have this western half of central Indiana that has been highlighted by the Storm Prediction Center to be under a slight risk for severe storms. So that'd be about a level two out of a category five scale. But that system you could see brought numerous storm reports from large hail, damaging winds, and again, multiple tornado reports out of that same system that's heading our way. And we could see the potential for all of those severe weather threats here. Timing it out, I said best timing is mainly after 4 p.m. We've paused this here at 3.30 p.m. on CBS 4 Future View, where I wouldn't rule out a few of those stronger storms starting to, to impact our western side of central Indiana, right along that Indiana Illinois border. And then as we head later on into the late afternoon, early evening, here we are at 5 o'clock. This will continue to slide east. I'd say closer to Marion County is likely around that 6, 7 o'clock hour, but I wouldn't rule it out being a little bit earlier, too. And then these will be weakening as they continue to slide east, especially as we start to lose the heating of the sun. As we head through the overnight hours, we start to dry out, and then things look much better for your Tuesday. But as far as the severe weather impacts, all severe weather threats are in place. So damaging winds, the primary threat, but I wouldn't rule out a couple isolated tornadoes too. So be weather aware today. Better tomorrow of temperatures in those mid 70s, plenty of sunshine and less humid than more active weather returns starting midweek, lasting until early part of the weekend.